What's up gamers? Today, well, I had uh, a request about how to add some sound effects, sounds in your own world. So today we're gonna well, accomplish that and add some sound to your world. So I already opened up um, the amazing home that we created in like the past few series. And today we're gonna add some nice relaxing sea and wave sound effects to it. It's just one of the things. So we got these and now when we're pressing Unity again you will see that it's starting to import these two files. It's gonna give a bit load and there we go. Also over here you can see it is really really loud <laughs> and this one is fine you can still hear them loud <coughs> excuse me all right back to what we're gonna do so um i like it when we're in a world and you can really hear the sound coming from the place that where the sound actually is you turn your head around you can hear it from your left or your right ear or just moving around and uh, so uh, because we're having a pretty round island well we can or place one sound component uh, object over here or one sound object over here or at both sides maybe up here and down there so let's um let's start with one we're gonna create one new audio effect that's audio source and we're gonna drag it all the way down here and a little bit in the middle so when we are floating high above the world we can see that it's actually a little bit in the in middle center and I think I'm gonna put it a little bit down just so that the center part is like at the bottom of the house so we're really in the center of the bubble Okay, and we got our effect um, over here. Let's go to our inspector and select the audio clip. That's the C. And we want to play it on awake, so that means um, when this object is enabled, you will hear the effect immediately, the sound effect. So when we join the world, now it automatically plays this sound effect. And we want it to loop as well, so that when the two and a half minutes are over, that it just starts from the beginning again and not just cut out and there is no sound effect anymore. Yeah, so the, the volume, because we could hear that it was loud, we're gonna put it at like one and a half percent. I think that should be enough, but we have to test it out. And the spatial blend we're gonna put on 3D so we can actually hear the sound coming from that way from every way we turn our head to. Uh, reverb zone is nothing to worry about that's more if you like using echo effects like you can create a reverb zone where you can add or things like that you can <coughs> um, blend it in more or less to the zone that you created for the 3d sound settings i don't like logic I can pronounce that roll off, but I like the linear roll off or a custom one because 
I cannot get this one to be completely silent. And with linear, you can really get that to completely silent when you're far away from that source. At this moment, you can see there's like a small ball around the icon. That's the minimal, absolute minimal distance that you have to be to hear this sound. This, this is pretty close here. And then we got our big ball. You can see the lines crossing. It's really, really a big ball. And that's uh, till where you will be able to hear this sound. So there is, I, I'm not sure if you can see it on the stream. But there is a little square over there. And you can just drag it in. You can see it coming over there now. When we zoom out, you can see the ball a little bit better. And that's like if we are standing outside this ball, you won't be able to hear the sound effect. So we're gonna drag it a little bit out. Maybe you want to be able to hear the effect when we're in the house. Maybe only when we're outside the house. So we there. And that's it. That's the basic guide of how to create a simple sound effect. So we can play the scene to test it out. And you can actually see and hear what it does with the effect. Now there is only one thing you, when you try to fly in, you, you can't hear anything. So you really have to be inside your game scene and press your main camera. Yes, this one has an audio listener and that's the only, the only way you can hear sound effects. Like you can hear it now. When you turn that audio listener off, you can, well, you won't hear it anymore. <laughs> That's why you have to move your camera just to get the effect and see if the like the, the range is far enough. Like in here you shouldn't be able to hear anything, but in here it should be really really soft and the closer you will get well, I can see it at my mixer. <laughs> but I don't have my earphones on of course. You can see, yeah, it's it's getting louder and louder and louder. But that's how it works. And you can also test, like, you have the audio source over here. <coughs> and when I change that 3D to 2D, you can hear the difference. Right, it's... Like, now it's really coming from one side. And now it's like it's from everywhere. That's why you want to keep it on 3D, unless you're making one big, massive <laughs> distance sound effect that you hear over the entire world and want to hear from wherever you are. Then you can keep it in at uh, 2D for like uh, the, the simple music or simple scare effect or anything you can think of also everything that you change over here because maybe we want the volume to be a little bit louder it's loud so that's 15 like this I'm gonna copy the setting you can also copy component but because we are only changing the volume now, I'm only gonna copy this volume. Show you. Because when we stop our play scene, you will see that everything gets reset back to the way it was before we started the scene. So I'm gonna change it back to the setting that we had, or we're gonna paste paste component values if you 
did it through the copy component. And that's it. That's how we add a sound effect, like an ambient sound over here. So we're going to copy this over here as well. And we're going to copy it over here. I'm, I'm duplicating it, by the way, with Control D, as you can see. New one has been added. Now I got four sources. And like within the house, I shouldn't be able to hear anything, but whenever I go outside the house, I should be able to hear the sea from one of these points. So that's that's it. Nothing more to tell about it. What we can do for a doorbell. Let's make a really simple cube. Of the ground here. Make it a little bit smaller. <coughs> And we want this <coughs> to have uh, like a sound effect when you press it, then the doorbell goes off. <coughs> oh my god. I need some water over here or something. So we're gonna press, uh, no, we're gonna rename the cube first, like uh, rename, double click, or F2. Ways. Doorbell trigger. That's the name that I like to give it, so I know that this is a trigger. Now I'm gonna press right with the mouse and add an audio source to it. And the name is fine because we know there is a doorbell trigger, so it should be triggering a doorbell. Select the doorbell in your audio clip. <coughs> I unchecked play on awake because we don't want to play this sound effect whenever the thing is there that will mean that when we join the world the audio trigger will go off and you will hear the doorbell <coughs> so that's not what we want we're gonna move it to a 3d stereo blend and all well, this is fine. You should be able to hear it from. See, you should be able to hear it from this corner inside the house. So if we hear it, we can hear it. So that's fine. I guess the camera is over here, so we know that. We're far enough, close enough. Uh, yeah, uncheck play on awake again. And now we only have to like, add a trigger. And uh, not to this one, but to the doorbell trigger. PRC. And we're gonna name it on interact. As we are interacting with the button and always unbuffer it because we only want uh, people to hear it that are currently in the world and not the people that are joining in later so ring the bell is what people will see when they hover over the cube Action. We're going to set an audio trigger. Right, that is. Don't. Audio trigger. That's it. Okay, it needs an audio source, so we're gonna drag this audio source right on the title. In here it doesn't work, so make sure you 
drop it on the title you will see that the audio source is loaded and we can play this clip done and 20 minutes I'm satisfied because the other tutorials were way too long but that's it I, I can so like compile it and walk through it I can I will oh yeah one more thing found a 3d audio source with no VRC spedio audio component this is deprecated please press fix to add an video audio source so press okay, it doesn't auto fix for some reason you can just add components type in spati oh there it is and you add this one and that's all that should do it it's another one right let's save this one i'm gonna Wait, there isn't another one. There is another. Oh yeah, I had four. It's, it's still kind of early over. <coughs> and that's it. We all got them set right now. Yep. I'm gonna build and publish, and I'll see you in game. Should be fine. So I increased it to 0.34. All the sources. Guess most people have their world sound pretty low. <coughs> and I think that um, VR chat also limits the volume. So it gets even softer. Um, that's it. I'm gonna build it again because, like, the zero five was way too low. And I'm gonna show you guys the results. Okay, so we load it in again. Let's. let's Stop that. Thank you. So let's check or ring the bell. Want to annoy people with it, of course. Everybody will hear the sound effect. Not sure if I can like really stay close. But yeah, people will hear it. <laughs> and also for the C effect, I can already hear it. Very subtle, I like it. Wind going through the no read is probably high, tall. I can hear the scene the closer I get louder it gets and that works that's it guys that's all you have to do it's fairly simple and you really have to tweak with the sound so the Christmas uh, special so again, I really want to thank support again. Take this time to display you this side again, this time on that side. And <coughs> thank you, of course, uh, for support last year. This 
is the last of video of this year but i hope you guys also learn something from it. see you next year